<sighs> All right. Well, here we are. Oh, yeah. I need my top 10 list. Yeah. This. Oh. Did I do that? That was your homework. I know. This was homework. your assignment. I know, but it's been so long I forgot. <laughs> Wait, I said to do the top 10 things. You said one from each book. Were there Our top bo- moment from each book. Which I believe oh, you've shit. got in your head. Yeah. Once we start talking about it. Yeah. You know, oh, sure. I know, I know several books. Several books I've got. Um, Should we start? Yeah. Can we, can I... You start us. Okay. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Kate. And I'm Hannah. And this is Beast. Oh, wait, I'm never mind. You're a beast. Can we do it again? <laughs> yes. Uh, from the top. Okay. And from the top. All right. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Kate. And I'm Hannah. And this is Feast, Sheath, and Shatter. Is it hot in here or is it just me tuning in to hear these three? Chatting about fantasy novels of the spicy variety. Not your average book club, if you know what I mean. Are you happy to see us? Or is that a dagger? It's feast, sheep, shatter. It's feast, sheep, shatter. Thank you. Sorry. We did it. Yeah. All right, now we can just. Okay, Go. so just Go. to wrap up, this is our like wrap up. We just spent eight books learning all about Selena Sardathian slash Alan Ash River White Thorn Galathinius. Yeah, and we want to talk about it in a wider, grander scale. Just to wrap up this adventure that we've had since from March Five until months. August. It's yeah. a thrown of glass party. It's a thrown of glass party, and we have yes. snacks. And Rachel got balloons last week because we are so proud of her for getting through this. And, yeah. So I did ask everybody to write down their top moment from each book. So Mm -hmm. I guess we'll just start there. So let's start back with Throne of Glass. Rachel, what was your top moment from Throne of Glass? It's definitely when Selena is asking Kale about what happened to a dead body because it's missing its organs and he's like, I don't know, maybe they tripped and fell down the stairs. (laughs) (laughs) I forgot about that. Absolute top favorite moment. (laughs) Organs can fall out if you get (laughs) drunk and fall down the stairs. Yeah, that's funny. Where did they go? I don't know. Yeah. It's fine. Right. Um, <laughs> I found my original notes, and I couldn't find the notes that I made last time. I have on book one, Hunger Games. That's it. Yeah, and it doesn't have yeah. to be specific. I think Rachel's will probably be more minute. Um, <laughs> Very specific. So my mm-hmm. the thing I... Th- I like the most about the first book is that glimpse of Selena. We get these like tiny moments of vulnerability and softness. I liked that she was the best assassin in the whole world and also really liked chocolate cake. Mm. And I liked getting to know her and, you know, the balance in that like smallness. So to me, when I think of that book, I just think of like this intro to Selena and then that she likes chocolate cake. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's so fun. much so that book that, is so forgettable in the long in the scheme of things. Right. Yeah. I mean, so much so that literally she's in a castle full of people that are competing with her. She walks in, finds a bag of candy that she doesn't know where it came <laughs> from, and she just eats the House entire bag of candy. House is it. And then she's like, "Who got this for me? I don't know. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. And you we should be dead Selena right now. Selena, <laughs> as a teenager, is the first book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, literally. Everyone is trying to get one up on this girl. All they had to do was poison a bag of candy, put it on her bed, and we would not have had the rest of the books. The rest of the books. Yeah. Done. All right. And then second book is Crown of Midnight, which we don't know why it's called that. We'll never figure out why it's called that. No. Rachel, what do you think about Crown of Midnight? Um. So my favorite part is when she's standing in the tomb and she's like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. And all of a sudden the door knocker is like, I know absolutely everything. And I can tell you anything if you ask the right questions. And she's like, I hate you so fucking much. And then she leaves and never asks it any questions. That's my favorite part. <laughs> our poor our Mort. 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 Mort was going to show oh, up. Morty. Mort is going to show up. Mort's like, I know everything. You just have to ask me. And she's like, oh, God, you're so difficult. 
<laughs> You're so difficult. You're so you want me to ask like questions? <laughs> And then leaves. Yeah. Oh. Crown of Midnight, probably my least favorite. Oh, yeah. I think one and two just, they're starter books, but like, it's hard when you have to tell someone, hey, this is a great series and I really love it, but you have to read two to three books of bullshit before well, you get to like the the meat of the story. Mm-hmm. Air of Fire is good. Air of Fire is great. That's yeah, free. I was, I was Air talking Fire. about Assassin's Blade. Oh, yeah. Assassin's like, Blade. You know, like Assassin's Blade is great. It's very relevant to the wider story. You know, when you're reading that first and second book, you get all these characters where she's just like, who are they? Why does she keep talking about these people and not saying anything about them? Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, you're going to find out about that in two books. Or yeah. You might have read it first. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where you should read Assassin's Blade. I feel like if I was reading this by myself and I was reading it in an order somebody told me and I read one, two, and then Assassin's Blade, I'd have just quit. No shit. If you read it first, you would have quit. Yeah. That's why you have to put it after Air Fire because you are invested. You want to know what's going to happen to Aelin and Rowan. And then it's so relevant in Queen of... um, Queen of Shadows. Queen of Shadows. Yeah. I personally think it's best as okay, the fourth book. Uh, yeah, I've decided. And that is how we read. That's how we read it, right? Yes, that's how I originally. I don't read know it. why I have it written between two and three, but um, that is what I they've. I've seen people online call that the romantic order, oh. as if it's it's good to get Sam and Aelin's or Sam and Selena's story before she goes to meet Rowan. I disagree. Yeah. I think you want that wrapped up. The Arabin oh, stuff like is more we powerful if you read it right before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So, so. I don't know where my list is. Um, I, I said, somewhere. like, the funnest thing is when Dorian gets his magic, you know, and he explodes with ice. Yeah. yeah. And we get the explanation of how the magic blocking works, but it's literally just Kale setting up three stones. <laughs> And then Dorian knocks one over, and he's like, "I fucking got it!" And Wait, is this that this book? Is it? It's right after he gets his magic, isn't it? Or is it an air of fire? It might be an I air of fire. I think it's the Queen of Shadows when they when um I don't know. I blocked out the there, first. and they're talking about the birds. That's a couple oh yeah, books down the line. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, well, that's I when Adian. I just remember the like. Once he gets his magic, Kale's like, okay, I'm going to acknowledge you have magic for five minutes so we can figure this out. And he just sets up three crystals. And he's like, okay, now, like, do the magic thing. And one crystal falls over, and he's like, fucking got it. And he just leaves. I'm telling you, anytime <laughs> Kale uses the old noggin, you're in for a treat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of Kale hate. I don't know, because I've been, like, like liking a lot of Sarah J. Mass stuff. So you're getting it. They're feeding it to you. And mm-hmm. I was like, I don't, I don't hate I Kale. Don't, I don't hate Kale either. I think that he got a really bad rap, and I think... I see a lot of people who just get on these trips yeah. online. And they'll it's like the same people who hate Kale also think that Reese might be a bad guy. Or that yeah. Nesta or Farah's point of view was so unreliable. No, you just read a book from Nesta's perspective, and that's what happens when you're seeing a story from someone else's point of view. Right. This other point of view doesn't hold as much water, but it doesn't make it untrue. We yeah. can have two truths. We can. Yeah. Kale can be an idiot and also noble simultaneously. Mm-hmm. Right. And he's our only non-magical dude. Yeah. He's just out here trying mm-hmm. to be gallant. Gallant. Yeah. Is that a word? Gallant. 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 Yeah. Gallant. gallant. <laughs> is that Which, a car? Is that a Mitsubishi? It's like the French pronunciation. Gallant. <laughs> gallant. But isn't that a Mitsubishi car? Maybe. I think so. <laughs> the gallant. <laughs> Anyways, he's out there trying to be the, his best self. He had to leave his abusive father. He's had to make hard decisions, but he's also privileged as hell and grown up next to his prince best friend. I love yeah. Kale. I don't think I Hot. didn't see him, didn't like him as a person for Selena. Mm-mm. But I also liked him as a stepping stone. Yeah. I think he's perfectly fine. He's fine. He's not like six and a half foot tall. Uber magical, five hundred I mean, years old. He's definitely over six feet. He's you know, we, like six three. He's, he's not five hundred fucking years old. No, right? He's he's have a bunch not. of magic. And his penis is probably mid size. He's I don't got know. a mid it's dick. An average mid, mid. Maybe that's why we don't get a sex scene. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, they just 
I cuddle on a couch. Happy. Yeah. That's what they matters, cuddle on a yellow couch. Which they keep the couch. I think that's really funny. It's so sweet. I've seen a lot of like, I only read Tower of Dawn for Irene. It's like, no, uh, I think it's unfair to give Kale short shrift because I think I mentioned it. And when we talked about it is he's like the only fe- only male character she writes who actually goes through a journey of like healing his trauma. Yes. All of the rest of them just like dick it out of the way. Yep. They have so much testosterone. They There's no room for trauma in their system. They're mm-hmm. just like, I'm six and a half feet tall. Well, the trauma is think- five feet tall. I'm above it. Mm-hmm. I think we get a little of a Rowan story, but but I hear I hear what you're saying. We get it through Selena, like they work through it a little bit together, right? Yeah, but not in the way that Kale well, is like. I made a lot of mistakes in my life, and I don't know what to do with. Like it. I have a lot of shame and guilt that I was supporting this king who was enslaving entire peoples. Yeah, right. And I need to work. And that. my girlfriend was one of those people, right? Mm-hmm. So, and where do I fall? What do I do? Like, right. how do I move forward from this? Can and I'm, I? And I'm broken now. How do I still get to be a good guy, knowing I used to be the bad guy, right. but I always wanted to be the good guy? Right. And I thought I was doing the right thing. Right. Yeah. Well, my favorite thing from Crown of Midnight is Baba fucking yellow legs in her little ass <laughs> yes. tent. And we all of a sudden get these witches. Mm, and we witches. are like, who's this nasty witch woman who tries to kill her in a... You know, in my head, that is the important part of this book. Oh, that the witches show up? Yeah. Well, and then, yeah, that we see the witches for the first time, and we don't know where they're coming from, and she's just this, like, old crone. Yeah. And... Yeah, there's no sense of scale when we meet her, because she's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm yellow legs, because I have a yellow leg, and she, like, pulls her robe Yeah, up we just she, think she's, like, a creepy old lady. And you're yeah. like, oh, okay, you have jaundice. But oh, she's, nice. like, intensely fierce, and what we find out later on is what happened between the two of them is actually incredibly large and mm-hmm. has huge ramifications. Huge deal. And then I think the, the other thing to really take from this book, now that it has to be anyone's favorite part, is just that Kale sends her off. Yeah. Kale sends her away. Mm-hmm. He figures out how to get her away. And he, she, you know, we do lose Nehemia. Yeah. Which is a huge part of this book. And in the grand scheme of the story has a lot of impact. Yeah. And we first get in, I mean, I think at this point we are like, girl, we know you a fae. And that's the last time we see Mort. Yeah. Dang. We see him again. He just never talks again. Do you think she thought that he just like, like the tone was just not right? I think she needed him to get herself out of a corner. Hmm. And um, she got herself out of the corner. And once she did, she was like, well, I guess Mort doesn't want to talk to anybody anymore. Yep. That's fine. I'm Because he had a Jersey that. accent. Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> if you're going to ask the right question. Yeah. <laughs> it just didn't make sense to keep him around. He knew too much. Yeah. And so if we keep him around, well, then we don't get the... That was my big beef with Crown of Midnight in general, was nobody was curious. Yep. Yeah. Every I single really character. Curious. Like, I but struggled she was, so much But with she was Midnight. in a phase, and I... I validated Selena's experience because she was pushing off. She was still like so, what's the word when you're like you turn a blind eye toward to yeah. it? She was so like, I am not dealing with this world's issues. I am not ready to take on my fated life. I am not going to do this. I'm going to pretend it's not happening. Yep. I think it was because every character was like that though. Like, yeah. and we went, came right off Throne of Glass where Kale legit said somebody's organs fell out because they fell down the <laughs> stairs. And then we went to Crown of Midnight and, yeah, like, we and didn't then, learn anything. And then at the end of that, at the end of um, Throne of Glass, she's like, they make this big point of the wings, the flapping wings, which is never actually relevant, but I assume that she's talking about the wyverns. Yeah. You know, you and mean the, the arm- wyverns. Yes. The wyverns. She says wyverns. <laughs> it's fine. I think this is. It's a, yeah, it is it's fine. It's fine. It can be wyverns in that or world. Or wyverns. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, I don't know. I don't know. I think she wrote those books when she was young. She didn't have a great editor. No, that she definitely had to get, shifted. She had to move herself through them. And then probably the, when she got to the third book, she had a better, better editor and they were like, Mort's got to go. Yeah. Like Mort's a crutch. You need these characters to actually figure this shit out on their own. And Mort's tone is weird. Like the tone of him. He doesn't fit. He doesn't yeah, fit at all. Yeah, he's an inanimate object that speaks. Right. 
like consciously. And they're like, I thought magic went away. And he's like, mm, not me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Not me. <laughs> not me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because I was made, I was made from word stones. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We just needed uh, like a character to bridge the gap between her finding out about word marks and then her learning word marks. Right. And once she knew word marks, we didn't need more anymore. Yep. All yeah. right. Well, moving on to air fire. Rach, what's your favorite part of real? Uh, little pop, 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 boop. Um, probably when Rowan punches Selena. In the face. I knew it. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> All right. Well, this is probably your favorite part in the entire so series. You, he finally says <laughs> it was it. It really felt like she wrote the first two books. Well, she got them published. I'm glad you said that because my my part kind of circle back circles back to that, but in a different way. Okay. So, well, I mean, it's really like she wrote the first two books. She got them published, and then she, they got some feedback. And literally, the beginning of Air of Fire when she's talking to Rowan is like damage control because Rowan is saying absolutely everything that every reader would have said during Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight. Like, what is wrong with you? Why are you entitled like this? Right. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Like, you got to get it together. You have been living like a very decadent life. You pretend like you're in your Selena phase, and that is like, who is mm -hmm. this person? Because yeah. she sucks. We need to be done with Selena her. Selena sucks. Yeah. 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 All right, Hannah, what's your favorite part? Um, I guess meeting Manon. <gasps> is that in that book? I have it in my notes. Yeah, I think we meet her as far back as Air of Fire. We meet Manon and Abraxos. I thought we met them in Queen of Shadow. If my notes are wrong, I'm going to be furious with No, I'm myself. pretty sure we meet her that far back. Hmm, okay. Um, yeah. And it's... It's not, it's early, early Manon. It's, you know. Because we sack, don't we sack the city in Queen of Shadows? I'm almost certain yeah. we do. At yeah, the very I end. Thought, at the very end of Queen of I Shadows. I thought we also get the warning from Manon in Queen of Shadows. Yes. Where Aelin and Manon first meet. Yeah, they right. don't meet in I, this, but you're start, you oh, meet Manon. Okay. You know, sure. she doesn't meet Aelin or anything yet. Yeah. But you are aware of the witches and their yeah. their little training mm -hmm. training montage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she picks Abraxos, and we realize that fate has led them together. Yep. And she <laughs> she thinks that she doesn't know love. Yeah. And that's kind of all she knows. She yeah. saves the little dragon. So she does a little baby sky puppy. <laughs> um, it's a sky puppy. It's a sky puppy. <laughs> Um, but so my favorite part of this book, which stands out to me and what I think about the most is the line who did that to you, mm. which is when Rowan realizes, realizes, he, realizes. When he walks in on Aelin in the bath mm -hmm. and he sees her scars and he sees the damage that she, that's been done to her physically. And she's kind of, you know, not in a good space. And he realizes, oh, that's why you told me you'd kill me if I whipped if you. If I whipped you. Yep. Yeah. And I think he recognizes how punching her in the face <laughs> may not have been, or them biting each other. Biting. Might not have been. But that is the, that is such like a pivotal moment for Rowan mm -hmm. to, like, because of the amount of care. I don't think, I think they're just starting to feel that mating bond, which they're calling Karen on. Yeah. Are they even calling it at that part? They're both realizing, you know, if you're not, obsessively in love with each other because you haven't realized your fated mates yet, you hate each other. Yeah. That just seems to be how the mating bond plays out mm -hmm. in all manners of the world. Yeah. So he, that's that kind of turn for him where he's like, I will fuck anyone up. I want to know who did that to you. So mm -hmm. I think it's a shift for her and him for him. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Her growth in that book is definitely... Yeah, oh, I mean, it's yeah. like Grown Up wrote that book. Yeah, we needed it. Yes. Yeah. Because it's almost if the third book isn't that strong, you do give up. Yeah. So it was that the turn of the story where we're like, oh, that's why we got Dorian and that's why we got Kale, and But this is Rowan. White Thor. And he is a bird. Caw-caw! <laughs> caw <Ka -ka>, <laughs> What does she call him? Buzzard? <laughs> yes. She calls him Buzzard. And she calls Gal... Uh, 
what's his Galvalier? Galinor? No, that's <laughs> Galinor. Dalinor. That's Brandon Sanderson. What's the um, kitty's name? I can't say. Gavriel. It. Gavriel. She calls Gavriel Kitty, kitty cat. cat. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Kitty Cat. Yeah. Oh, we get the, I mean, another, just like a runner up is we get the cadre. Yeah. Yes. And we get so much bonding time with Vaughn. <laughs> To never ever see him ever, him ever again. again. But yeah, we meet that Lorcan. Um, we meet the Lorcan. The Lorcan. The Lorcan. Who I just the image of him running behind everybody else. <laughs> it's like two wolves and a lion and some birds and then <laughs> like tall ass dude. A beefy dude just like <laughs> running up Wait them. up. And it like at that point you don't know who or why. Yeah. You just know like one of them he doesn't is have just a- <laughs> running. Dang, man, you don't get to turn into an animal. No, no. He's literally seven feet tall. Yeah. And long, dark hair has this, radiates like a dark energy. Yeah. Like a death energy. And he's just running by these <laughs> kitty, these like, creatures. Uh, is he chasing them? <laughs> <laughs> is he their wrangler? <laughs> yes. And yeah. she makes a point of mentioning that he's like, Demi Fay, when she sees him, she's like, "Oh, and a Demi Fay running with them." Because we, because we have to know, yeah, yeah, it that makes Rowan, it less ridiculous. Yeah, mm-hmm. Rowan is the most powerful Fay, and Lorcan is the most powerful Demi Fay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what other, Just, what other runner up for uh, that book? What else do we get in that book? We don't meet a lead there, do we? Mm. No, we get her. We get Aelin's story finally. Yeah. Only because, like, a dark prince pries it from her mind. And we start to learn about um, Elite's mom, Mrs. Yes. Locken. What was her name? Mary? Mary? Marion. 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 Yeah, we learn all the sacrifices that... Yeah, because then we get Elite in the next book. Right. And we're supposed to put together that that's a lock-in. I yeah. feel very uncomfortable about my notes now, but I do have down that <laughs> we break Rowan's uh, blood oath. In this one. Yeah, we do. We end. do at the very end. That. Okay. When she's like, no, that your def- city that may be made happens. out of stone, but your people aren't. <laughs> <laughs> your people will burn. Yeah. And Maeve is like, <laughs> okay. Maeve's like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and she gets that's terrible. Gonna really upset me. Well, and we get that first <laughs> hint of Maeve's, like, wanting that ring more than anything. Yeah. Because turns out that ring can crush her which she mm-hmm. keeps it for like 15 minutes and then yeah. Lorcan, she gives it to Lorcan. Lorcan yoinks it and is like bye <laughs> <And just laughs> she's like, like I know better than you too li- literally runs off because he doesn't have another <laughs> form so he yoinks it and then just like <laughs> takes off with like a, a smoke trail behind yeah, him he yeah. does that is <laughs> he probably does run like that I I imagine Lorcan Lorcan running like they do in Twilight <laughs> <laughs> No. You, know what I mean? no. you know what I mean? Like yes. Yes. <laughs> when they're running in Twilight, not only is like the camera the moving, moving fast, sidewalk. but they were on they were on a conveyor belt that yes. made them like run really fast. <laughs> Doesn't that make sense though? It does. Doesn't that like, compute? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> so fast. So fast. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah, that's a great book. It's a great turning point. Yeah. And then, so moving into Queen of Shadows, what's your favorite part of that book? I think my favorite part is when we finally meet Lysandra again. Because we just met Lysandra in Assassin's Blade. Oh, I guess we should do Assassin's Blade. Well, we so, can. So what do you think about, let's, we'll do it afterwards, sorry. I was going to say, Assan- uh, Assassin's Blade's a tall order, so give me a minute here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, I know your favorite part of Assassin's Blade. I know so. your least favorite part I know of the Assassin's part, Blade. No, no, I know the part that sticks. <laughs> I know that's what I'm thinking too. The part that sticks with you about Assassin's Blade. You all don't know me. You don't know me at all. <laughs> yeah. I am 100% sure it has to do with the sign language. <laughs> Not what's written in my For notes. For the non-silent assassins. <laughs> but I think my favorite part of Queen of Shadows is we just got Lysandra finally. Like we've mentioned her in passing, but we haven't met her. And we finally meet her. And she just shows up at Aelin's house and she's like, ho, oh, so... How about we be best friends forever? And Aelin's like, sounds great. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then we're just friends. Yep. Because Lysandra's like, um, I'm pretty sure the only reason we were ever enemies is because Arabin knew how powerful we would be Because he was manipulating we him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Hannah, how about you? I have down the magical, untrackable warehouse <laughs> that no one can find. Never. That's literally in the fucking middle the, of the city. Think, it's like cannot in her find name. it. Everybody knows she lives there because she's gifted it to like fifteen. She literally people. has like packages delivered there. Amazon's coming there daily. The king cannot find her. Well, you know why? It's because she stores ink. And nobody would steal ink. That's her like she's like, if you store something that nobody would steal, people don't pay attention to you. So the that's whole thing. That's when we meet, when we meet ink. Aelin, Ash River, White Thorn, Galathinius, the strategist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's when we make the strategist, and, like, and that's like w- this is one mm. of the first books where we get a glimpse of her being the smartest person in the room, and we get this, we get the sense of how Sarah's going to write her for the rest of the series. Yes. like she's the smartest person, and she's going to trick us, and she's going to be like, we're going to get a Scooby Doo ending at the very end because she wrote twelve letters six months ago right. and mm-hmm. planned this whole thing. Whether yeah. it makes sense or not, that's how it's going to end. Here yes. you go. You can't find a warehouse if there's ink downstairs. If you dye your hair red, everyone will believe you're whatever, this mm-hmm. other person. Yeah. And actually, that other person, a continent away, will get word about your red hair. In, yeah. Yeah. Via the assassin telephone line. <laughs> the hotline. The, assa- the, hotline. the, 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 the hotline. Yeah, the hotline. <laughs> The spice well, that's why route. they wear uniforms. That way they can identify each other right. so they yeah. can pass notes on. Like, oh, you're an assassin too? Great. Let me Same. tell you some information. Let me sign you some information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rudimentary right. sign. That's, yeah. that's a good point. We we'll never meant We didn't mention that. point at each other. Yeah. So mine is definitely Aelin and Manon meeting. And because they do meet in this book. Because they go to rescue Dorian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so we get our first glimpse at Dorian and Manon. And we get way more about the 13, and we start to see Manon struggling. Mm-hmm. And when we get that meeting between Manon and Aelin, and we see these two ferociously bad bitches mm-hmm. come against each other, and they are still, they're still in such a, like, girl's girl mode. They're like, you are too good for me to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> and I love that about, that is what one of the things I love about Aelin, is that, there's not a pretense besides when she's Selena of her disliking women. It's yeah. like, yeah, I think we should be best friends because we're going to crush it. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that. It's so, it's so great. It's so love great. It. But I definitely think for me, it's Manon and Aelin's fighting. Yep. Love it. What else? What else? Any runners up in this book? Not in Queen of Shadows. That was another struggle bus for me. Is do we meet Adian in that book? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because we think he's we think he's bad for we a little while. We meet him in Air of Fire. Yeah. Because he teams up with Kaol in Air of Fire. Yeah. And then she rescues him and in she, Queen of Shadows. Oh, that's she does a the, really like, cool scene. She does yeah. the dance party, <laughs> like where she is like quick like quick o change o all different outfits. Like yeah. I'm a dude now. No, I'm not. Look at I'm a lady. Yes. I'm yeah. pretending to be all these different people and you are right. believing me. And the ballet dancers get yeah. in on it. Yes. Yeah. I wish they had referenced the ballet dancers. And they're and literally like throwing gunpowder. Like throwing gunpowder on the ground. They're like sprinkles. <laughs> yep. Sprinkles. As they're doing a dance. <laughs> Flowers and gunpowder. <laughs> Flowers and gunpowder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a re- it's a reasonable book. Yeah. I, I don't hate it. I like it. I think it has a really good part. It's okay. We get, we get on the street. It's right before our stakes get super high. Right. It's when she's deciding, oh, I am Aelin, Ash River, mm-hmm. White Thorn, Galathinius. It's a necessary wrap up for all the shit that happens in Rifthold in mm-hmm. the first two books. Yep. And we get Evangeline. And yeah. there's that beautiful moment where Aelin runs up to Rowan as he walks through the gutters in the alley, and she runs and cries and giggles all over him. <laughs> and we're like, oh, what's that little relationship? They're just yeah. really good friends. Karenans. But then she puts some sexy lingerie on and tries to golden, seduce him. Yeah, the golden lingerie. Yeah. She borrows from Lysandra. And I love, it's a cool thing that she lets Lysandra take the killing blow for Arabin. Mm-hmm. You know, I love that she, she does do that. She's like, you can kill this. Like, Alid gets moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Irene, Irene, Irene saves the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alid saves the day. It's not just, it's about her. She's Captain America, y'all. She's like forming a team. And she's the center of the team. 
But the best parts of the book and the series as we go along aren't about Aelin. Right. They're about the team she's built. Mm -hmm. Because she wrote the letters. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. Moving to one of the best books of the series. Yep. Empire of Storms. Yeah. Rach, what you got for that one? I have several. Oh, we get to meet Lachlan. Lachlan. The Lachlan. Lorcan. All of the Lachlan. Lorcan. Everything. Yeah. Elite and Lorcan. Yep. Finally, mm-hmm. like my, I don't know the obsession with like the fact that he tears his shirt up for her period because we do that like way more than we really needed to. Yeah. I mean, speak for yourself. I mean, it's fine. Okay. I get it. I just don't know why at some point he wasn't like, I'm running out of shirts, but when I go buy more shirts, maybe I'll grab some pads. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, or I whatever guess... whatever they use. Or whatever they use. I don't know. I don't know. But my favorite part is at the end with the uh, prepare the overhead projector. Because it's, <laughs> like, my favorite running gag for the whole... Yeah. That's true. it. Prepare my overhead projector. Like, Bring me my vis a and prepare the overhead projector. She lays it all out there. She's like, exposed. It is time for me to tell She's been waiting you. to tell this for eight million years. And they're on the beach. Yeah. yeah. And we get just, like... A coming together in this yeah. one. Every, all the stories coming together. How about you, Hannah? What's your favorite part? Um, I just have that Ayland gets sanded her yoni. Because <laughs> she finally <laughs> does it with her man. Yeah, they finally do they the do deed. They do it on the beach. On the beach. Yeah. Which, you know, I hate that. But yes. And they have ocean sex as well. Also really bad for you, but it's Also, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Fine, we're not Faye. Yeah, mine's definitely Manon and Dorian's BDSM relationship in that boat. Mm. And Dorian Dorian glows up in this yes. book. Yes. Yeah. All of a sudden we got shadow hands. We got a shadow Woo! singer on our side. Shadow hands and Manon and that relationship is just fire. It's great. It's mm-hmm. wonderful. Mm-hmm. I love that about that book. And Abraxos being so sweet and going to find the thirteen and Yeah. You know. I, I think the a witches lot happens end up being, in this book. The, yeah, the witches end up being my favorite part of the series. Yeah, well, they save the day. Yeah. Yeah. They do. <laughs> Hold it together. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. You don't cry. Okay. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm a lot a lot shirt. happens. Yeah. You are wearing your shirt. Beautiful mm-hmm. shirt. Thank you. Never my, forget. We are the 13 from now until the darkness claims us. So good. Just had a moment of silence for the witches. That was really nice. Yeah, we poured of one out. We poured a mocktail <laughs> out for them. We did. Yeah, those sweet babies. Um, yeah, we start in we start out in uh, Oakfold. What's the what's the forest? Oakenwald or Oakwald or something like that? Yeah. We start out in Rivendale. The, the forest that is apparently everywhere. Yeah. Because no matter where we are on any continent, they're like, oh, that's Oakenwald Forest. Yep. So I looked at the map because I was like, where is this thing? No, it literally is everywhere. Yeah. It covers like the entire world. It's the whole world. Right. That's where the little people live. Yeah. yeah. Oakwald. The small folk. That we said. Oakwald. That seems right. I don't know. I but just they start, remember like, God, yeah. again, we're near that. Jesus. We started out They've there and then the beach is years. Elway, isn't it? Isn't it's it the coast? Elway? Is the coast Elway? Isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah, and that's when we get that we get that really epic line that gets a lot of gets a lot of plays and TikTok likes, which is "Where is my wife?" Yeah, and we find out because she doesn't do weddings on the page mm-hmm. that Rowan and Aelin actually got married because yep. Aelin's plan is that if something happens to her, Rowan can take take over. Yeah, but she doesn't tell him that. No, she also instructs Lysandra to masquerade as her. And have Adian's babies. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. She's thinking ahead, but also manipulating her friends. That was not, pretty rough. It's not a very kind thing to do. Poor Adian. Yeah, poor Adian. He felt very manipulated. My favorite, I don't know if it happens in this one. I actually think it's in, is it in this one? No, I think it's in Kingdom of Ash, where they're like, you know, we're like 500 years old and we've, we're, well, I'm an actual general. It's they, my no, job. No, they talk about that several times. I know at least once in Empire of Storms because it's when they're in, like, they're talking to um, Rolf. Yeah. And they're like trying to plan stuff out and she's just overriding everybody and they're all like, you, you know, you're 19 and you've never fought a war. And we are actually old enough to school many. for this. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a, 
doctorate. doctorate. Yeah, I literally have in been doing this kicking ass yeah. for like a really long time. And right. she's like, mm-hmm, cool. That's when she like secretly calls the dark army. Oh, and right. Like, just to like set him up. And then she just to get Ross to, to agree to and she, fight with them. And she has a god in her body and yeah. Deanna shows up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and almost destroys the entire town. Almost down. kills everyone. And that's when we first get a glimpse of how powerful Lysandra is and that she can turn into a fucking dragon. Yeah. yeah. And she saves dragon. the cool. day. And she does the majority of the manual labor. Right. Yeah. In in a lot in most books. Her right. and Adian. They're yeah. the power couple. Yeah. Because, yeah, like they do all the yeah. work. Well, the Aelin, boots on the ground. Aelin mm-hmm. doesn't give anybody else space to help because she knew she was going to call the Dark Army. She told no one else. Well, she plays this martyr role a lot where she's like the only person who's going to sacrifice anybody is me. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't recognize. But like as a leader, that's why the general stands up on the hill because they get to call the shots and they are just as necessary as the people over here. She mm-hmm. almost got everybody killed. She did. And I really don't feel like we ever confront that. I mean, we did confront it. They don't confront it. Yeah. We talked about we it. We talked we. about it. We. They don't talk <laughs> they. about it. Because she doesn't, they, I mean, she sets up a world where everybody's power is not instantaneously available. Right. Like you have to let, you have to know in advance that you're going to need it so yep. you can call it up. And she's just like, oopsies, looks like I called the Dark Army. They're going to be here in, oh, 15 minutes. <laughs> Luckily, I've been spiraling down into my power for weeks. But this was an accident. Yeah. It was an accident. <laughs> that is what happens. That is. <laughs> that I did a significant lie. eye look. Nobody's in the room, but you too. But I did like a oopsies. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Bat's eyes. Yep. Yeah, your face know. is telling a, a thousand words. Thank you. Yep. It felt like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I just don't like it. It turns the, out okay, though, you know? I, uh, fortunately. Luckily. It does. Um, everyone, um, like, everyone in the town almost dies because she tries to use the word key and ends up getting possessed. Yep. And luckily Rowan is there. And Lysandra like, literally almost dies. And Aiden yeah. confesses his love. And then two books later. Yeah, yeah. they finally get together. Yep. Yeah. They get married. A good Everyone pop. gets married yeah. but Manon. Yeah, which is great. I love that for her. They just have like a, you know, they just decide that they're going to keep dating. Yeah. yeah. We're going to continue to see each other. We're going to continue to make space for one another. Mm-hmm. I'll there's pencil a lot of, you in once a there's month. There's a lot of fanfic out there of Manon crying over King Dorian's grave because it's just like in Lord of the Rings... Um, she lives forever, and yeah. he's a human. Yeah, he might have an extended life though with the magic. I think he yeah. will. They could find a way to soul bond or something. There's a lot of that. Mm-hmm. I could figure you it out. die, I die. Oh, that's the best one. Yeah. Yes, let's if have a death. You pact. die, I die. Let's have a few children <laughs> and first, let's, let's and have then... some children. <laughs> yeah. Um. Stupid. Mm. Yeah. That's so, how you show your love. Is by bonding. Mutually assured destruction. Don't you yes. dare yes. live one day longer than I do. Yes, because neither of us could take it emotionally. But what about our dynasty of children? Um, yeah, I like Empire. I think Empire, uh, we'll do that in a second. Um, what about <laughs> Tower of Dawn? Go for it. Um, the evil gold room monologue. <laughs> <laughs> That's I like, this is that another prepare the PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah. It's, there's one in every book. It, because and of now that, I'm going that to happened, kill you. That, if that but, hadn't wait, happened. You, you didn't mention that it's only 30 feet away. I, I already did. Yeah. It's fine. I feel yeah. like we've covered that. Yeah. But it's because if that character did not do that, Kale never would have known that, um, what's her name? Duma? Dura? Du- Duma. Dura. Duma. 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 Yeah, Duma. He never would have known the that she was a bog anything mm-hmm. at all right. because he was looking for rings. Dula. He'd, he'd Dula. Give, he'd given up like 14 chapters ago. Thula. Oh, yeah. He forgot about it. Yeah, he for, we, everyone forgot there about it. There was a mystery and it was lost. Right. There was <laughs> yeah. a mystery. We all kind of forgot about it. And then she was like, hey, I know you guys never figured out who it was, but surprise, it's me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. And surprise, I lured you to this room. 
that's like 30 feet down from, you know, wherever, where they keep the candles. Just right here. Yeah, it's, it's like, right here. There's like storage there's room, no mop door. room, no. candle storage, and then like gold, golden, treasure, golden room. treasure room. The national <laughs> treasure. No one has seen in thousands and that's thousands like of years. a continent of treasure. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe they, like I said, maybe they had a tapestry over the front. That's they the did. best way to hide doors. It yep. is <laughs> tapestry with a, a story of why it's there, right? Yeah. And if he didn't like save her, if Irene doesn't save her, then he doesn't convince the Cog Kagan Coggin. He doesn't convince the Coggin to be on his side, and then we don't get fire lances, we don't get ships, we don't get Rukin, we don't get horses. So literally, if that Vogue princess had just kept her mouth shut. Yeah, I think the this, war would have been. Won. I think this is the book where we really like realize how much these gods are pulling strings. Yeah, there's just too many coincidences. Mm -hmm. You know, Kaol sends Aelin off to meet Rowan. Dorian and Aelin send Kaol off to meet Irene. Irene, like, there's just Irene is a tower. Her last name is Tower. She goes to the Tory Chesme. She's also the the second half of the coin. Like, it's just too much. Yeah. My Them favorite was the ecstasy tricks. party. <laughs> <laughs> you just had this, like, but you're like, hang on, I got to get this out here. The yeah. part where they all get high and almost fuck each other. That's yeah, my favorite. That part. was awesome. That is yeah. a good part. Um, I got two. Uh, one, if we zoom out, I really love Nezrin and Fleek. Zartak. Yeah. yeah. Nezrin, Fleek, and Zartak. Uh -huh. Yeah. I love them. I love the birds. I love that whole thing. I, s I just had so much fun there. Mm -hmm. I was like, Let's just hang out, sing some songs around the fire. Like Pocahontas. But my favorite part of the book, and this is, Rachel will talk about this too, is when Chaos like, oh, actually, no. The the line where they're like, no one will walk, or, if if someone gets in a fight with Rowan Wh Whitethorn, is that his last name? Mm -hmm, Rowan mm -hmm. Whitethorn. W Rowan walks away and you don't. There's like this epic line mm -hmm. that is in Tower of Dawn about Rowan. And then also the part where Kale's like, um, so do you think Aelin would do that? Um. <laughs> oh. He's like, oh, I just. I, uh. Probably hmm, it's, the, it, it's the inner monologue for me where he's like, lie, Kale. Just lie. Just and he's like, say no. I can't. I don't know. I don't. Mm. Probably. Yeah. I yeah, she would do think that. Yeah. She would. She thought. I don't think she would, but yeah, maybe she would. Would you bet Irene's life on it? Ooh. Hard pass. No. Nope. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. Can't do it. Yeah. Irene was a great character. I, I, I thought Tower of Dawn was great. Loved it. Yeah. I saw somebody on TikTok, the book binding world, bind the two books together. Ooh. And you have to buy four books to do it. You have to buy two <gasps> copies of Tower of Dawn and two copies of Empire Storms to make it all work and bind it that way. Oh. But it would be so worth it. Yeah. To have that as a bound together, be the tandem read. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of Why do you need all four? Because something about the way... They're put together. Like probably a page. Like you have to, the way that the, oh. what are they called? The each, each section of pages. Folio. No. Books, books. These little. Um, yeah, there, there's a name for them and I can't remember it right now. Is it not a folio? No. Oh. That might be same name, but it's not the name I'm thinking of. It'll come to me later. But yeah, Tower Dawn is good. Thula? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> We're done. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So then, then we bring us back to uh, Kingdom of Ash. Kingdom of Ash. What's everybody's favorite part of Kingdom of Ash? Um, when Dorian is at um, what's the evil tower? Morath. Morgoth. Morgoth. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that it or it's is Morath? It, it is Morath. Yeah. Where's yeah. Morgoth? Sure it's Mordor. Lord of the Rings. It's but isn't Morgoth somebody? I think Morgoth is a bad guy. Yeah, isn't he Sauron's daddy? Yeah, I think he's one of the Maiar or something. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going too far. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. So um yeah, when he's at Morath and he's like, Yeah, Maeve, let's hook up. And she's like, <laughs> You wanna get hot. married? And she's like, I know you're lying to me, but it's cool I'm lying to you too. Like let's mutually lie to each yeah. other for our own mutual benefit. And he spends all of that time searching when he's really like 
slowly weakening the tower. <laughs> Setting up explosives everywhere. Buzzing yeah. around like a little fly. Yeah, little he goes, TNT here, a little TNT here. Yeah, he goes from I can't really change my eye color at will to any form. That's fine. I'm okay. a bird now. A I'm gnat. a bird now. I'm a gnat. I'm a mouse. I'm a mouse now. Yeah, you got that raw power. He taps in. So cute. And as somehow Erewhon doesn't know. Yeah, I mean, there's some holes there. It's okay, though. That's okay. It's Dorian's fine. really powerful. And he shapeshifts his mind so that she'll believe him when he says he wants to be with her. Like, yeah. oh, oh, you gaslit yourself. Yeah. Okay. You shapeshifted your mind. Got so it. She'll yeah. Believe Perfect. Yeah. That's yeah. He laid the trap. Yeah. That was good. I like that. Um, my favorite is, of course, a lead saving Lock- L- Lorkin. Lorkin Ooh, Lockin. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a good part. That is Her, a good part. Just the vision. I can see it in my head like a movie, you know, because yeah. that's how I read. And I can just see her galloping across that field, screaming for him. And then I can see the wave coming and the wall fire. And, and Forte just drop plops, bloop, plops Aelin down in the middle of the yeah. battlefield. Aelin didn't tell Rowan, her mate, and Karanon. She just didn't tell him. They're like sitting there, like, "Oh my god, Ali, where the fuck is where the and fuck is Aelin? Where's Aelin? Oh where? god, and where is Aelin? Yeah, and Borte's like, yeah, you know, she's such, she's that girl that she's just like, the what only kind of one what that kind will, of mischief, she's a ride or die. What do you, what kind of mischief are you trying to get into? Yes. I'm trying to talk about us, baby. Yeah, she yeah. says that. I want to talk about us. I want to be near you because you are where the danger is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's gonna say yes to anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I definitely have a few things, but I mean, the witches, the 13. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's for me. It's just like such a culmination of a piece. It just means a lot for me. Mm -hmm. I love that part. I love that part so much. I was telling someone today that I have to like emotionally prepare to read that just because you don't want to be like going into the grocery store and you've just gone through that. Right. Um, I also love that. We learn that the king's name is Dorian. Mm-hmm. And we acknowledge that he had no name. Yep. It was just mm-hmm. the king. Yep. What's his name? King. Uh, and they're like, king. what is his name? And he's like, I performed one spell. I erased his name from all memory. <laughs> <laughs> from entire existence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not his name. No, he name. has a name. And what the was only it? time he remembered his name was when he named his baby boy. His baby boy. Not the second one. Fuck that no, one. No, fuck but the that first second one. one. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. The second well, boy that I definitely thought Dorian. was gonna be a villain in yeah. the. Yeah, I think that's just a testament to Sarah J. Mass. The same Sarah J. Mass did not write mm-hmm. Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight. Who wrote Air of Fire? Right. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, she just got progressively better, more well-paid editors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, probably the same editors that wouldn't let her put the threesome in Silver Flame. Ugh. Fuck those people. <laughs> Fuck those people. Seriously. <laughs> why don't you make it a why don't you make it a dream? Fuck you for Fuck ruining you. our lives. You ruined can't. Same everything. editor that said, I don't think you should have a full blown sex scene between Elite and Larkin. Why don't you just say Go to hell? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you just say so Lorkin did and ruin a lot of people's why lives? Why don't you ruin everyone's lives? <laughs> Let's Why don't you start do that? there? It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did what? Um, but yeah, and then, you know, I like the part where, I, I mean, when Rowan is actually envisioning their children, I mean, that is kind of like what happens mm-hmm. down the road, I think. Yeah. And I like how everybody ends up together. Yeah. We get how many couples at the end? Like a bunch. 17. <laughs> like a bunch. <laughs> no, but for real, how many? Uh, we go see. So we got Rowan and Aelin. Yeah, they get married. Dorian and um, Manon. Manon. They they keep dating. They're yeah. dating. Yeah, they're like, was it low commitment, long term boyfriend girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, long distance. Love that. Yeah, yeah. I love that for them. And then we have Elite and Lorcan. They get married. That's three couples. And then Adian and Lysandra. They get married. That's four couples. And then Kale and Irene. They get married. Five couples. And then Borte and her boy. Yeah. The, yeah. Don't you want your wedding night? What makes you think I already I haven't already had one? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She's like then, the surprise. If they ever did this as a, this would make an incredible television show. 
It really would. If they could commit to like eight, eight, even At nine least. seasons. Yeah. It really would make a really good. Nazarin uh, and yeah. uh, Sartak. And we could get a foundation. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm about these days, not Game of Thrones. A foundation level budget. But like that moment, like Borte just being like, he remind she reminds me of the redheaded like giant in Game of Thrones who loved Brienne. Do you yes. know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. You know how he's just like funny and silly and everywhere? That's best. who Borte is to me. Absolutely. She's just this like crazy foil who's off her chain psycho mm-hmm. and, and in the most amazing way. Yeah. I don't like to use the word psycho. I shouldn't have said that about her, but like wild and fun. Yeah. She's wild Barbie. Yeah. She is wild Barbie. Wild Barbie. Yeah. 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 Okay. So let's put these books in order. What's your favorite book do out of you? Do you want to do Assassin's Blade? Blade? Was, okay. Go ahead. No, you guessed what mine might be. And not we were correct. No. Well, that's what I wrote down, but now I've changed it. <laughs> okay. And it's the part where, um, this is a controversial hot take because you guys yelled at me the first time around too. Which was is, it yelling? It, it was a little bit yelling because it's where Sam is like, let's just go. And she's like, I don't know. We'll have to slum it. Oh. And he ends up taking one last extremely sketchy contract yeah. because she has spent all of their money and she won't just leave and figure it out. She wants yeah. to have money before she goes. Yeah. I like the part where she's drowning in the poop hole and Sam saves her and she has to take a bath in vodka. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's a part. <laughs> <laughs> drowning in the poop hole. That happened. Sounds that. like butt stuff. Okay, yeah. Guys. This is where we <laughs> learn that Sam and Aelin only ever well, did butt in my stuff. N- yeah. In my notes, I only have, in quotation marks... Sam is a sweet baby angel. Okay, well. Which I'm pretty sure was Rachel's uh, take on that. <laughs> yeah, he is a sweet baby he angel. Is. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This book. The Pirates, The right? Pirates. Obviously, yours is The Pirates. I, no, I didn't read you that part. I love it. I hate or that. she love just it. shows up and. I don't like Pirates. I don't know why. I, I, I can't even why pinpoint why I don't like Pirates. It's okay. You don't have to I like think it's because they're nasty, dirty. They have like dirty fingernails and like cut clothes, yeah, and scurvy. Mm. <laughs> I just don't like them. It's okay. It was I know. a dumb part. I, I mean, like privateers. They are clean. Yeah, they it take wasn't baths. Legal pirates. It wasn't the best short story. So, and it doesn't make any sense. My favorite of the short stories is Ansel. Yeah, because we see her once again, really longing for loyalty and sisterhood. Right. We see her. We see Selena doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Aelin, like, wanting friends, wanting loyalty. Like, yeah. Being a girl's girl without any girls. Yeah. And really longing for that. And I, we see her Taurus really flaring up in this one. But she saves the day again. And she gets that cool horse. Yeah. Yeah. She gets that cool pony. She also meets Homeboy and gets the spider silk. Yep. Yep. And um, builds that into her Sam's uniform. And she spends time with the jackrabbits and the bats. and Yeah, that's her training, the training <laughs> montage. She's yeah. like hopping through the desert with the bunnies. <laughs> She's hanging from the rafters with the bats. That's how it. she learns to the be the best assassin in the world. training montage was the best. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that part. What's the other? Oh, then we get the her with Arabin, and we get to see how not cool he I is. I really, yeah. that's such an important part to me. It sets us up for the next book, Mm -hmm. for sure. Mm Because otherwise, Arabin's like, she's iffy on Arabin for the first two books. And you don't see why she hated, why would she hate Lysandra in the first place, you know, if you didn't have that. Yep. Yeah. Those stories. So that was good. Yep. All right. So now. Favorite books. (laughs) Okay. So let's just put them in order. What's your favorite book of the whole series? Oh, I think the one I enjoyed the most was Air of Fire. Okay, so you're a three. Three is at the top for you. Yeah, I think that's the one I had was painlessly made my way through the entire book. Nice. You were you liked the shift. Yeah, because you went from I liked all the growth. Yes, because we went from all these very immature characters to her being a real person. Her being the, them all being real characters. Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Mm, I really like Air of Fire too. I think Empire of Storms is my favorite, like the most sure action-packed. That's a good one. I'm just going to wrap it up and say I think Kingdom of Ash is probably my favorite just because, yeah. I mean, 
I do like those two books a lot. And Empire is probably yeah. the strongest, but also I'm just going to say King- Kingdom of Ash. It's three, five, seven. They're all very close. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think my second one would probably be Empire. It would go Kingdom, Empire, Air, Tower, Queen, Crown, Throne of Glass. Yeah. Throne of Glass. Assassin's Blade. Assassin's Blade. Blade. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's like, fair. Cr- that's a good one. Throne of Glass is probably second to last. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Luckily, it's one of the shortest. Yep. Uh, my little sister is reading uh, Throne of Glass right now. How little is she? She's littler than me. Yeah, but okay, an age. Oh. Um. Yeah. Or just like a range, back. if you can't remember directly. She's five years younger than me, so she's so thirty-two. I'm twenty-nine, so that's. <laughs> <laughs> so she's twenty-four. Which twenty-ninth anniversary are you on? <laughs> um. I've been 29 for many, many years, years now. now. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. She, she, I forget how so she's, she's like. A, she's a grown She's up. in her 30s. She's an adult. Yeah. Good for her. She, yeah. That's great. So she, the plan is she reads a book, then I send her the podcast to listen to. She's not allowed to listen to any of our spoiler, podcast. you know, episodes in yeah. between. She, I'm only sending her the ones on that book. Until she finishes. Yeah. And she's already done Akatar, so Nice. She's close. we talk we do talk about that series quite a bit. I so was I'm just glad she's listening. I was we just do, listening to do. one of our we old spoiled ones. We spoiled the shit out of some shit. We, yeah. We spent and I, like I, I half will straight of up one episode stop. talking about Tam Tam. Yeah, I will <laughs> stop talking about this book and start talking about Blood and Ash. And I think yeah. about how unfair that is, and I'm so glad we only have eight listeners. Yeah, I think Reading Akatar before you read this series is essential. No, I did it the opposite. I I think you. I don't think I could have made it through this series if I hadn't read. Well, a and Court of I Thorns read. Well, Who, which, what did you read first? I read this first. I read this first and then Akatar first. But remember how this but spoiled Akatar for me. Loved it. Yeah. And I think I lo- that I did if love you it. didn't know that there could be something good coming, I needed to know <laughs> she was going to get better as a writer. Yeah. Like I needed to know we were gonna get to like Court of Silver Flames. Yeah, and I don't writing. even I don't even know what writing is bad until I read something like Friends of Monsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Friends so happy Monsters. you enjoyed that book. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's I'm fine. Excited. We're gonna talk about it next time. Yeah. Um but hey, if you're listening from now, don't stop. If you haven't read all of Sarah J. Mass, if you haven't read the whole universe, stop listening. Because I'm about just to bye go, bye. go deep. I'm gonna go big. This is your chance to turn us off. Yeah, and Rachel doesn't care about spoilers, right? No. And then I'm going to save some stuff. I'm not going to tell you about, like, the biggest stuff that happens in Crescent City. So. Just, like, all of it. Yeah. It's all So when we zoom out. So we have this big crossover thing happening. And there is some speculation that there is some desire and speculation that these characters may somehow turn up in this crossover that's happening. We're getting another Akatar book and we're also getting Crescent City 3 in January. So we're actually reading Crescent City in January. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Both of those books, which are fucking huge. And Rachel's gonna be like, what the fuck? Why are they so long? Why are they so long? <laughs> um, and then we'll get, we get the third book. So we've got this, you know, big huge thing happening. And there's so many, there's so much conversation out there about whether Aelin should show up, will show up, maybe it'll be their kids. The timeline looks like this is happening at the same time as these other stories. So unfortunately, we won't get 200-year-old Aelin, who is probably much tamer. Yeah. Much better at communication. Yeah. Yeah. But... I like to think of Aelin. So Crescent City is a, like, modern fantasy. Yeah. It takes place in a city. So there's guns, pocket computers, cell phones, you know. like yeah. Security r- systems. Rune Danon knew three things. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, like, all these things. So this, there's this thought about, like, Aelin being the most, like, Cassian and Aelin and Cassian get to, getting to meet each other. 
And can you Ooh. see Aylin and Cassian with guns? Oh no. my god. <laughs> It'd be amazing. Cassian <laughs> with a gun? Right. It's amazing. It's wow. like I, I would love to I see it. I need this to happen. I need it. Yeah, me too. Aylin and Cassian. Okay. Or like, okay, imagine Aylin and Manon meeting Nesta. And it's quite the thunder. Tornado Alley. Mm. Are we supposed to have a storm? Maybe it's a racetrack. <laughs> not here. Um, not not here. <laughs> We're only 50 miles away from there. Um, yeah, he's fine. I think he's hilarious. I love his it takes. I just ha- re- hate that he refuses to stay Manon. And his name is Dale, but his name is Daniel. Look at all these text messages I've gotten about a severe storm. Oh, no. Did I get it? Does anybody care about me? But yeah, I'm excited to see if these characters show up. She, you sent me that the other day, which I had seen several times. It's Sarah Davis talking about, or is it? Or is it? Well, Throne of Glass is over. Or is Is it? it? So, I mean... She could start another. But Lorcan did what, Sarah? <laughs> what did, did he Lorcan do? Like, sorry, you don't get to sit there and be like, mm-hmm, I don't know. And then also, we don't have an author's definitive edition where we get the Lorcan sex scene. But wait, but what? But like, what if she did that for like an anniversary as a gift? She's got enough clout now because she writes. She writes. I want she it can, now. She can write it nasty and fun. Yeah, yeah. She wrote we Court all, of Silver Flames. We, we all know it can be nasty and fun. So write it nasty and fun and give it to us as a birthday gift. Right, as my birthday gift. <laughs> right. Well, we saw it. We saw, now. What she if we wrote, get it as a flashback in Crescent City Three? <laughs> 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 Find a way to work it in, Sarah. Uh, we love on, you. Figure you, don't, this we out. Don't, you know what? You don't owe us anything. You don't owe us anything. But you do though. But it would be lovely. But if, if you, you could, did owe us anything, if it the would portals be... opened between all three worlds and Lorcan and Elise showed up, and it somehow made its way into <laughs> everybody sharing their feelings about their first time, and then we got to know what fucking Lorcan did. Yeah, I can what? see it happening now. I could. See While Cassie, it. Cassian and Aelin are learning to shoot their guns, yeah. Elise and Lorcan are having a a, a sit down with Rune Dannon and Lydia. Yeah. Rune Dan and new three fucking things. That's it. That's it. I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's how it's going to go down. If she doesn't write it, I will. <laughs> then it's just fanfic. The fanfic's fine. Ugh. But it's, it's fine. not the same. It isn't the same. same. Well, and Miss Hannah over here about when she was having a hard time today, she did not want to hear that. Rebels in Clone Wars was Star Wars canon. She was not hearing that. I, I disagree. I did not say that I wasn't going to hear that. I was hesitant, but I, I uh, believed that you feel strongly I, about I, it. It's not. It's not a, an opinion. It's a fact. <laughs> I believe you. If George Lucas says Dave Filoni gets to do this, and it's yeah. Canon, and I agreed with all of that. I so. don't know. You made a face. I have face. I have face. You were having a hard time. I was having a hard you time. You face. It was weird. I was like, do you hate me now? But now that you know what kind of day I was having. I know. It makes way more sense. I'm so sorry. Wait, it makes more sense. Yeah. It was a bad day. And I am going to watch that video you sent me. You There's a couple of those out there, and you're going to be like, what? Yeah. But it'll help. And then you don't have to watch all of Clone Wars and Rebels. Anyways, yeah. Ahsoka just came out. Sorry. Yeah, I remember. I saw yeah. things about it. Yeah, there was a time in my life when I liked Star Wars. Yeah, there's a time in a lot of people's life. Yeah, I feel like everybody. I don't remember a time in my life when I did not like, like Star, Star Wars. Wars. I like Star Wars just fine, but when we got to Episode Three, I checked out. Yeah, it is a tough one. I think any time we get really over rough. about six or seven things in a property, I'm like, well, that's a lot. That sounds it's like too a many. Lot. Which is why it's we're so many. proud of you for making it through eight books. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So proud. Is anybody reading any non Sarah J. Mass non podcast books? Yeah. For yeah. sure. What you got going on? I'm still reading the um 
the Lachlan feud oh, yeah. books that you gave me. Yeah, these books. I'm on the last. It's a four book series, and I'm on the last of of them. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you want, if you wanted to add some more romanticy <laughs> to your life, it's very, it's fun. It's also it's very, very PG. It's very juvenile. Oh god, I know it's annoying. Yeah. I just like it. Just makes it better when they bang, and we read about it. <laughs> I saw a comic yeah. I almost shared. It was like two, cu- like a couple in the bed, and they're like, "It's just you and me." And it's like a person standing off to the side, and they're like, "And me." And it's like <laughs> romantic <laughs> readers, <Yeah. laughs> I'm and me staring at you. And, and Go me. ahead and tell me where you put it next. <laughs> and then what did you do? And how? Where were your hands? Well, sometimes when you're an adult, and what you were you feeling and thinking? And what did it sound like? And what did it smell like? Yeah, smell. They don't all smell all the time. They talk yeah, about but it's all always pleasant, pleasant. But it's always pleasant. Yeah. 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 Like I'm honeydew. I'm really <laughs> like honeydew. Sorry, I didn't mean to do the wheeze. I just fucking hate. <laughs> I just hate when he says it. Honeydew. And, okay, so these are all the books I'm reading that aren't on the pod and aren't. <laughs> so I got, I was telling them about this hot pod. So I'm going to talk about it now. I got my Kindle set up with my remote. So when I'm going to bed, I have my Kindle and my remote on the right side of my bed, and then I have my phone plugged in on the left side. So once I get so tired that my eyes are shutting after my Kindle remote and I'm actually reading a book, I then turn over and turn on the book I'm listening to to make me fall asleep. So I was, I am reading the Dusk Walker series, which was A Soul to Keep and then A Soul to Heal, which are, it's like monster Smut. And they're spicy. They're like a two or a three. Mm. And the monsters aren't human much. So it took me some time to get used to. But it's nothing like Friends with Monsters. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, Friends with Monsters is like a four or five. And this yes. is like a two or a three. Okay. And then yes. I'm also reading A Soul of Blood and Ash, which is the Castile version of Blood and Ash. Mm-hmm. And then, so that's that and that. I think that's everything right now. What are you guys reading on the other pod? Uh, we're still working through Dune. We're about to talk about um, the complete Double Dead, which is our book club episode for August. Sure. And that's the one where he's like a vampire wakes up after the zombie apocalypse has happened. Oh, cool. And it's a really interesting mashup. Absolutely not romance or fantasy. In the least. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm just kidding. I read other books, too. I read other books. It's good. You're not, you're not expecting it. Oh, yeah. It. I, I got oh, Kate oh, reading yeah. my detective I did, series. I did read that series. A couple of them. I read them. two of them until I realized there was an entire show. I accidentally told Kate about the show. And then... Which I, show? What's the sort of series Strike. Called? Yeah. So the books are the Cormoran Strike books, and they're written by... J.K. Rowling, okay, under a pen name. It's what? What is it? Robert I don't Glenister. Know. I don't know. Another name, an alias. Another um, name. Yeah, which always feels like a futile effort when it's like J.K. Rowling writing as well. And she, we we didn't find out that that was J.K. Rowling until way after the first book had been released. But there's a show. Yeah, now there's a show, mm. and it's pretty good. It's a great show. I. I cleared it in three days. What's the name of the show? Strike. CB Strike. Oh. CB Strike. I don't CB, know. CB Strike. And it's it mm. was a Cinemax that is now. Mm-hmm. It was like a, a big. It had a good budget. It's in Brit. It's in England and London. It's a great show. Yeah. Honestly, I I liked those stories and I I liked that a lot. I just I I'm cool with just watching the show. Except for now, I want to know what happens next, and I don't know. Yeah, because mm-hmm. there's more books out than there are Art seasons. Series. Yeah. Yeah. Always a catch-22. I also started Cersei and... Oh, you did? I did. I was listening to them as I was going to sleep, but I didn't catch in on them. I've also start, tried to restart Poppy War. It's too much. It's oh, too much for I've, my brain. Probably like six times. I just can't click in yet, but I think it might need to be read. mm because I'm having a hard time with Priory of the Orange Tree, yeah. which is this like massive fantasy thing that people love, 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 love. Mm-hmm. I think I can't deal with the audio, so I need to li- read it. Read it. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it depends on the complexity. 
The yeah, more dense something mm-hmm. is, the more yes. I have to sit and read it. Yes. I can't just listen. I, I also don't. I, I I commend anyone who takes on doing an audiobook. It's really hard. And now that I've listened to over like 120 of them, I can tell like how hard it is. Yeah. Because let me hear. Let me. Let's just do. It's a an exercise. Okay. Let me hear. Like Elizabeth Evans is incredible because I like her men voices mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because. Reese or Hunt a- 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 what's his last name? <laughs> Athelar. Yeah. Hunt is still sexy and he's a woman. Like I forget it's her doing their voice. Yeah. I Elizabeth- feel like it is and a man. She did all of Game of Thrones. Oh, sorry, Throne of Glass. But like, let me hear you guys try to do a boy voice. <clears throat> <laughs> you can't just put me on the spot like that. Hey, sure we can. Sure we can. hey girl. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> what you doing tonight? <laughs> Wait, Did why is my man southern? <laughs> why is my man so country? I don't know. Whoa. I feel like there's a lot to unpack there. <laughs> there is. Hey, honey. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> you like them rednecks. <laughs> I really do. No, no. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> okay, Rage, go for it. I don't know. That's really hard to do. I know. I feel like I would probably just use my regular voice for a guy, and then I'd have to be like, I'd have to pitch up for a woman. That would probably be what I would hmm. do. I mean, that's what I do when I I'm, I if I'm would. reading to Isabel and I'm, a, I'm a, say I'm reading Harry Potter. I don't mean to bring up Harry Potter again. Say I'm Are reading sure? Harry Potter. Are just sure? say, <laughs> say I'm reading just any say book for the sake of uh, uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Mm. And I, I do my normal voice for Harry and Ron. And I also do it in a British accent. You're welcome. Very nice. But for a girl, I do go higher. Yeah. Because my my speaking voice is we, fairly low. We have very low voices. Yeah, you if do. I if I went any lower, it would it <laughs> would sound, it would sound stupid. Like it would sound like this. Well, yeah. I don't know. If That's kind of hot. I like um, it. I don't know. I'm kind of <laughs> into I, you right I'm now. That right now. <laughs> and it wasn't. I miss you or already. Anything. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> I miss you already. Yeah, oh. I do a lot of voices for the kids when we when we read their books. It just makes it more fun for them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm ready for it. Okay. Let me. I'm ready. <laughs> ready. <laughs> Wait, is this a dude talking? What? You get a line? No. Yeah, just dude, I'm roll. smart. I pulled my phone out. Dang it. <laughs> I don't even have my phone down here. You shouldn't have promised things like that. <laughs> I'm a Wait. man. I'm dead inside. <laughs> you may go to them. You may go to them. <laughs> you shouldn't promise things like that. I can be pretty greedy in return. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's yeah. really, really hard. Dear Elizabeth Evans, Evans you, you deserve are incredible. Uh, <laughs> and um, Stina Nielsen, who does Silver Flames, she's incredible yes. too. But. The person who does Prairie, I just don't think she's super strong yet. Mm. I, I think she's, it's just such a big book. Yeah, interesting choice for that big of a book then. Yeah. it's huge. And I think she's a relatively newer narrator, so I think it would have done well with, um, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Hard to say. Speaking of which, wasn't the new, sk- let me check this out really fast because I think this might have just come out. Let me double check. The new version of... Um, oh, yeah. Nyaxia? Yeah, yeah, I think it... I well, one see. did. Oh. One comes out in August, one comes out in Yeah, let me later. check and see if it's like out, because I might have to scoop that up. I feel like I pre-ordered that, maybe. I think I did, too. Will, don't, will it tell us when it comes out? <laughs> yeah, we should get an email or something. Like, it'll just automatically show up in the library? Mm-hmm. Wh- what, what's it called? Mm. Star Cross Kingdom mm. Lovers. Star. Wow. We dumped Curse that. Star. <laughs> yeah. Star Cross Lovers. I know the second one is Ashes of the Star Cursed King. Okay. Oh, so the wow. first one Serpent. is Serpent, Serpent in the Wings of Night. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Because I kept wanting to say Star Cross, and I was like, Star Cursed. Oh, it's Star out. Cursed. It's out. Is it's it? out. Yeah. I thought I ordered this. Release date August 5th. 
I'm about to buy this tonight, y'all. But Check that's it. the first one, right? No, Amanda Lee Cobb. No, I mean, that's the first book. First book, yes. First book, new narrator. New narrator. Yeah. It's no the more same Georgie. Narr- it's no more Georgie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Georgie is an Ice Planet reference. You might not have caught that. Yeah. Yeah, I just know from... That one is... But you know what I have, We like, need to do Ice Planet because it's four to five peppers, too. It is four to five peppers, and I have Ice Planet on the thing. Okay. I'm down. <laughs> on the mutual account. <laughs> Anyone else want to get it on? Yeah, I think I have like eight people sharing it at this point. I'm mm. like, just take this. I have a hundred books. Yeah. yeah, please don't. And if you well, just... if you purchased them, you should own them. You should be able to loan them out in the way that I can take a physical copy of a well, book and we loan it to you. We kind of can. Like, if I log into her thing, mm-hmm. or we won't name the name, but if I log into it and I download it onto my phone, when I log out and log back into my books, it's there. Uh huh. So I don't know what – don't change that. <laughs> whoever you are. <laughs> don't change that, whoever you are. Yeah. But it makes it nice because – I mean, But you lot. have to start it right away because you have to start it – I mean, I have to download it. You have to, like, but I downloaded, I downloaded the Rowan books from you and I downloaded some other book from you. Because I took in their resolute faces. Oops. Thank you. You that sound was, just like that, that dude. Was yeah, l- listen to Talking me read. Uh, listen to me faces. read. This is me reading. Well, Delano's in nails anyway, and I should just look eager. I'm so good at it. <laughs> you are so I'm good. I'm so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? You downloaded what, and it disappeared? Yeah, I down I downloaded something else. You told me to read, and then I immediately started reading the one book, but not the other one. The other one disappeared. So I think you have to start Do it, it really fast? Yeah. Oh, none of mine have disappeared. Mm. What was the other one? Don't know. Interesting. Oh, I know what it was. It was Belladonna. Yep. Because the sequel to that just came out, and it's called Fox Love. It's mm-hmm. another romantic that a lot of people were like, that's great. And I was like, no. No. <laughs> no, it ain't. It's not. No. Not for me. There's another one called Divine Rivals. It's supposed to be... <laughs> not for me. I... Actually, you might like that one. I think that one's supposed to be written well. <laughs> written well. Well, you now know my taste in books when we're not talking just about writing. Because you've read um, Friends with All the Monsters. Oh, God. That book. Yeah. I mean, it's smutty. Yes. It's a five. It's definitely a five. <laughs> Have we sold you on it yet? Have you started I'm, it? I'm psyched. I cannot yeah. wait. I, but unlike I Kate, I cannot be into more than three books at a time. Mm. I, I do not have the capacity to hang on. It, I can't I'm keep anything really straight. More, I'm never into more than like two or three at once. I crush them though, because I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like you just named ten books that you are currently re- or that you've read in the I past just, two I've weeks. I've tried to start reading and yeah. I can't get into them, but oh. so I need to try another way. Okay, yeah. like Priory and Poppy, I will get through those. Those books have I want them in my repertoire of books I've read. Yeah. Okay, but I can't do them on the audiobooks. And I got Poppy on sale. I got all of the books for one credit, which is great. Oh yeah, and I I got the new book. For seven bucks. So, yeah. Okay. You know what book I just reread, which I think you might like, is the, have you ever heard of the Bartimaeus trilogy? Yes. It's really good. Have you ever read no, it? No, I have not, but I've heard of it. It's by Jonathan Stroud. Have you read it? Nope. It's very similar to Harry Potter. I don't read men writers. Sorry. It's just an kidding. element. It's an elementary book. It's like elementary. It's oh, classified neat. as elementary fiction. I think it should be young adult, but it's mm. very similar to Harry Potter where it's like London. Oh, I've magicians. heard you talk about that. Except their power all comes from, like, they call them demons, but they're, like, spirits from Damons. another world. Damons. Yeah. They're, like, genies and... De- like, gins. Yeah. And Neat. one character is the magician, and one character is his, like, genie. And his genie is really funny. Oh, and has, cool. like, footnotes where it, it's really funny. Yeah. It's a good book. That good series. Good. Cool. And it's a trilogy. And there's yeah. no smut, so if you need a smut break... I don't like smut breaks. Sometimes I need a smut break. I mean, I think I, I will too. after after I, monsters. I haven't. I've liked switching. Up. I like to. Mm-hmm. It's fun. I feel to, like we have a good balance. Yeah. Well, we've yeah, read some like small pepper. Like we've only we haven't read any it, since Silver Flames. We haven't read like a really peppery book. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Um, the what's the book that you mention all the time? Starts with a G. Gilgamesh. Yeah. Yes. 
But that's like the original story. It's like the oldest story that we have. Oh, that's not the book I saw, though. Never mind. No. There was another one, and it had like an angel on it. I was like, oh, this must be the something the ninth. Oh, Gideon the Ninth. Gideon the Ninth. Yes, I like Gideon the Ninth, too. Okay, yeah, I, I keep coming across that, too. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I should check mm. that out. Gideon t- was really good. She no talks peppers. about that. No peppers. It's okay. No peppers. It's, I mean, I like books that are good. It's good. But, mm-hmm. like, if you're going to be if you're gonna be a good book and not have spice, you better be good. It's an excellent yes. example of, like, the range of female characters that you can put in a book. Neat. Mm. Because it's the me- and main there's character's more than, female. And there's, like, several... Yeah. Several of them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, I think the tagline is like lesbian necromancers in space. Neat. All great things. All I good love things. that. That's us. the one where the <laughs> second book part of it is written in second person. Can you explain second person? You walk down the street, you sit down in the chair. Hmm. Oh. Like choose your I don't own know adventure that books. I've, yeah. They're oh. not, they're not very common. No. You get you get why. I'm not going to tell you why. It makes sense. Isn't somebody, like, traumatized? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Anyways, we should probably wrap it up because there's a dang old storm coming in. And All I right. Live, I live fine. 50 minutes from here. We're having fun. But that was fun. We're having so much fun. We had the best snacks. We had sushi. We had fun fatty cake. Oh. Rachel got us Reese's popped snacks. And she made us mocktails with strawberry syrup and mint syrup. And... La Croix Soda. Mm-hmm. It's been a really great night. It's been awesome. Thank you so much for You're hosting. Welcome. Thank you. And thank you for reading all these books. You're welcome. It means so much. And then we'll be back next week with... I love that you hated them so much you had to start your own podcast, another <laughs> podcast about books. Just, yeah. to, just to make your life balance. No, with, we were supposed to be doing books anyway. I but know. Matt, is, he works full time, which is like sure. cramping my style. Ugh. And then he's slow. He's not as fast a reader as me, which cramping my style. Is and like, anyone... No one. Apparently not. Nope. You're the fastest reader. You're a very fast reader. I really thought everybody read like me. Nope. And now I'm like, how far are you in that book? How far are you in that book? Nope. How far are you in that book? Matt's like, God, like 60%. I'm like, oh, you've been reading it forever. It's like. Because I have to say every word out loud in my (laughs) head. I have to speak it in my brain. I have to subvocalize. All right. Next week will be, or next episode will be Friends with All the Monsters by Albany Walker. Friends with Monsters. Friends with Monsters. And the next one is Some Kind of Monster. We're Mm going to do both. They're short. They are short and smutty as hell. And I hate them. So it'll be a good show. I'm excited. Oh, good. You hate them? (laughs) No, I don't hate them. (laughs) They are for the smut. They are Mm -hmm. hot. Yeah. Spicy. All right. Until next time. Bye. 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 See ya. Is it hot in here or is it just me tuning in to hear these three chatting about fantasy novels of the spicy variety? If you know what